Hey, what's up guys? This is Joe from Fandroid. Today we're taking a look at the new release of Android M Developer Preview. It's been a little bit over a month since they released the first version, and now they have a new one out. We'll take a look at the new features. Before that, make sure you watch our previous video to see everything new in Android M. We'll be able to see a lot more of the new features that were introduced. But let's get right into it. One of the biggest changes in the first release of Android M was the app drawer, and now they've already changed that again. So now instead of the alphabetized list with big letters across the side, we just have more of a normal grid that you can scroll up and down through, and across the top are your most recent apps along with a search bar. And that works a lot better. I, I think this is a lot nicer than the original one, and I think people will be happy with that. Another little change is the screenshots. Uh, so you can still take a screenshot by holding power and volume down, but now when you look at it in the notification shade, there is this new button to delete it right from there, which is kind of handy. There's a bunch of new stuff in the settings. If we go to the developer options, you'll notice that the dark theme has been removed. In the original release, there was a dark theme that only themed the settings. Uh, but that's not there anymore. We don't know why. Maybe it wasn't ready for the prime time. Um, but the system UI tuner is still here that allows you to adjust the quick settings toggles, but they've added more to that. Now you can go into uh, status bar and actually turn off the things that show up in the status bar up here. So let's say I don't want to know that Bluetooth is on because I have it on all the time. I can get rid of that icon. I could even get rid of the cellular data icon if I wanted to. And you can also show the battery percentage in the battery. So I can see it says 73 right now. If you want a little bit more than just the icon showing the level, that's pretty neat. Staying in the settings, we have a new storage and USB option. This used to just say storage, now it says storage and USB. And now this whole screen looks a little different. There used to be this colored bar across the top that would kind of show you uh, what things are taking up your space but now it's just a little bit of a cleaner look. We still have the list of uh, apps, images, and all that. Um, but then another new feature on the bottom, if we click Explore, this takes you to the internal storage file manager, which is kind of a nice little shortcut. They've also moved the memory out of a uh, hidden menu out into the prime time main menu of the settings. So you can go in here and you can see uh, your average memory use uh, within the last three hours, six, 12 hours, or one day. And then you can go and do the memory apps. Uh, excuse me, you can see which apps are using the most memory. So that's nice because it, it's a cool new feature, but it was kind of hidden before, and now it's a lot more accessible. Last but not least is Google Now on Tap. In the first build of Android M, uh, it wasn't working. If you would hold the home button, like you were supposed to, it would pop up a message saying that it was not included. Uh, now it doesn't do that, it just takes you to Google Now. But if you go into the settings and you go to Now Cards, there's actually a screen where you can opt in to Now on Tap, and it's kind of funny. <laughs> it says Opt in on Tap. We know how ugly this is, and then you can click in. But it doesn't actually do anything, it's, it still doesn't work. Um, if you go into a website, and hold down the button, nothing still happens. So they're still working on that, and that probably won't be there until the uh, final version of Android M. So that's everything new in this release. Be sure to watch our previous video about everything new in Android M, where you can see a bunch more of the new features, and we will be back next time they update Android M. See you later, guys.